That was where the weather was hitting hardest in that sort of 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. window when they have to make their decisions. But in Seattle, Rebecca, for the most part, kids are in school just two hours late. Yes, that and they're still seeing snow showers come down. So don't be nervous. It's not a lot more in accumulation on the way, but you may see those from time to time popping up here and there. But uh, if we look at right now at the Doppler radar, you could see there's snow showers scattered around, but especially in where we called the convergence zone. Yeah, right there along I-90, all the way from downtown Seattle, where we've got a light snow right now coming down, stretching across Lake Washington, across Mercer Island, over to Kirkland, and moving up into Issaquah, and also around Tanner and Snoqualmie, North Bend, still coming down for you. But the accumulations are going to be pretty minor. We're only expecting just one or two inches, again, up into the foothills of the Cascades from the snow showers through the course of the day today into tonight. Otherwise, these snow showers are expected to continue to taper off a little bit more, and we'll be seeing mainly just concerns of flurries in the air as we get into our Tuesday. So right now, Bering, you've got the snow coming down, and you probably will see another inch of accumulating snow just because the intensity, you can tell, is a little bit higher or the brighter white in the radar is, but it's, it's very light snow elsewhere, save for Port Angeles, another spot who can get another half an inch to an inch of snow coming down and Bellingham just feels bitter cold with the winds still very gusty up to 25 to 30 miles an hour in the gusts along with those cold temperatures. Downtown Seattle, though, it's a pretty shot. Pretty gray, pretty dark because the clouds are just hanging so low. And again, we do have snow here around the T Mobile Park and also 34 degrees for Seattle. So, standing outside, you've got 35 degrees for Tacoma, temperatures a little above the freezing mark. We can still get a snow shower out of it though. 31 in Oak Harbor and Arlington, 19 degrees in Bellingham with those gusty winds up to 13 miles an hour in wind speed. So, let's go ahead and look at the wind gusts where they're 22 miles an hour for Bellingham. That makes it feel like six degrees in Bellingham. That's a factored wind chill, putting the gusts of the wind and the cold temperatures together. It feels like 28 in Seattle and it feels like 27 in Tacoma. And I know a lot of you are out there saying, yeah, it does. It's cold. Wind chill is as low as zero degrees at times. It's right close to zero for uh, parts of Whatcom County and the San Juans. But you no longer have that wind advisory in place. You do have a winter weather advisory for large portions of the foothills and the South Sound, even stretching over into Kitsap and the, around the Hood Canal. That's where we're going to get those little minor accumulations from the snow showers. But also, we want to say know that there will be slippery roads. There's a lot of snow in places on the hills, and tonight's temperatures are really going to bring the temperatures just plummeting to ice things over. So today and tomorrow, it's definitely cold. We just got a few snow showers or flurries out there, but we're already eyeballing the next storm Wednesday. That'll be our next round of snow, and it does look like it's going to be one of those spotty accumulations as it sweeps across storm track as well to the south, bringing in a whole lot of mountain snow. In fact, from Mount Rainier to the 24 hour snow totals at our ski areas, 24 inches of new snow this morning at Mount Baker and Snoqualmie, nine inches, 22 at White Pass and the mountains today will get another two inches or so or less in some spots with these snow showers. But our big accumulations are done in the mountains and here's the seven day forecast to keep that showery weather going for you. Now we're going to see things start to change back to just cloudy and few more sun breaks possible with those flurries tomorrow. But Wednesday, the next storms will come in in the afternoon and evening. Expect it to be snow and expect that to keep going through Thursday because it's going to take a while to get our temperatures warmed up enough to just get rainfall. But that should be happening on Friday. So that's when we'll see that sloppy, really sloppy right. mix across the board. Yeah.